Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, you'll need the sheet music called Open Hi-Hat Layering, and you can get that at OnlineDrummer.com. And if you haven't checked it out yet, check the link below this video to uh, some information about my book, Alfred's Beginning Workbook for Snare Drum. If you're looking to improve your reading skills and your, your writing skills, it's the perfect book for you. It has a bunch of different exercises uh, with answer keys, so you can go through it on your own or with a teacher. The open hi-hat layering is just basically adding another layer on top of your drum groove using the open hi-hat. And what it does is uh, I like to use it in a two-measure repeating pattern because it adds a lot of um, interest to your beat. So, for example, if you look at number one, groove number one is just one measure repeating over and over. It's a cool beat, but we can add some more to it to make it more interesting. So if you look at letter A below that, this is groove number one with hi-hat layering. So listen to the beat. This is the same exact beat as in number one, but now I'm adding a two-measure repeating pattern with the open hi-hat. So hopefully you could hear how it kind of lengthened the groove out and made it a little more interesting. Because on the one hand, you've got the repeating bass pattern. And on the other hand, you've, you're listening to this hi-hat rhythm every other um, measure, repeat. Letter B adds a little different combination of the open hi-hat. Groove 2 is just a little more um, difficult groove. Uh, I'll play it for you. And now when you add the open hi-hat layering, if you look at letter A, um, there's going to be a 16th note with the left stick after the open hi-hat. And you might be tempted to close the hi-hat with that 16th note. But in this case, the plus is on the the next um, count, so it's count three. So you want to leave it open. So if you're looking at, actually, I'll just start from the beginning of that beat real slowly. One E and the two E and you're gonna leave it open all the way to three. A uh, three. So two E and the three. Two E and a uh, three. Close it right with the bass drum on count three. Uh, Similar, uh, same thing on the other measure. I'll play the second measure of letter A. One E and a two E and a three E and a. Leave it open all the way to four and a four. Might be difficult to get used to, but take it slow and work on that. Just isolate that area and do it over and over and over and over until you're just doing it without thinking about it. Letter B is interesting because uh, the, the open hi-hats are in the ands for the first measure. But then on the quarter notes or on the, on the counts, the so one, two, three, and four for the second measure. So this is going to take some getting used to. And again, isolate each measure until you're comfortable with it. And then uh, work on putting it together and then speeding it up. So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson on uh, hi-hat layering, open hi-hat layering, and uh, you get an idea of how it can really change the feel of a rhythm. So what you can do is take rhythms that you might play, um, write them down, and put in some open hi-hats and see where it might sound good, and you'll start developing that coordination with the left foot. Also, check out the link below to a packet. Uh, there are a bunch more of these exercises that you can look through and download on OnlineDrummer.com. Keep drumming.